guess where I'm at. <laughs> Going to Disney's Animal Kingdom for the first time as a guest instead of as a cast member. Do you mind if you're on camera? Hello. This is Karen Rush. She was sweet enough to pick me up. So and this is kind of going to, this is going to be like her second time since she was a kid, so this is going to be new for the both of us. These lines are long, oh my gosh. These lines come early if you want to go to any of the parks, like at Rope Drop. We in. We in. Oh, there's a rainforest cafe right there. Say what? That's a rainforest cafe. Oh, cool. That's yeah. neat. Rainforest cafe. I wonder what that one's like. Yeah. So what are these? This is like where you, you buy tickets if you don't have them. Oh, thank God for self-admission. Yeah. <laughs> or if you, I guess, like pre-buy your tickets, you can pre-buy tickets, right? Yes. Yeah. I love ducks too. Where I come from, back home, there's a park that has ducks. Those are cool. Huh. Okay, what is this? I'm really curious as to what pit we're going into. Ooh. Ooh. Bouncy. Is this the little cave? Cute. Cute. Okay. Let's find a marker. Yeah. I feel like we might. No, I don't think we did. There you are. The iconic tree of life. That's where the It's Tough to Be a Bug show is. I want to go see that. I was obsessed with The Bug's Life as a kid. It was one of my favorite Pixar movies growing up. They have, oh, they do? Yeah. Like cool. Somewhere. Island looking teal. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I ain't paying attention. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It's all right. I clearly can't multitask while I'm walking. Discovery Trading Company. That's look, that looks like a good place to visit. What is this? Um, those are rentals. Oh yeah, I know. There's like a oh, that's just to be Okay. Okay. Asia, Dino Land, USA. This way. 
Ooh, I just got a whiff of something that smelled good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ibis. I also, at some point, if I can, if not now, then later, I want to see the um, Lion King performance. Lion King is my favorite Disney movie. Oh, good smells, good smells. I'm excited too. There it is, dinosaur. This is really cute. Ooh, God bless for the fans. Ooh, Crocs. Good God, you're huge. That is a freaking big crocodile. Right. And that's that's fine. That's cool. Yeah. That is cute. Do you want to go on those two later? Let me think about it. I feel like those are rides for like smaller children. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Let's see what that one is. Wait, dinosaurs that way. What What's this? Dino Rama? Let's go exploring. We got all day? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's neat. Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama. Oh, this looks like some kind of fun house obstacle course thing. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think this is like, oh, oh I kind of remember this. <laughs> it's like. Oh, that's cool. It's what? It's like a little coaster. Oh, it is! It is a coaster. Okay, I was about to say that I could do. I could do a coaster like that. Yeah. But it looks closed. It looks deserted. That kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah. Because I would so go on that ride. Really? It honestly looks adorable. But I'm kind of a little sad it's shut down because it looks cute. Did you see that dinosaur? I did. I was taking pictures of it. Do you want to take a picture in front of it? Say what? A 40 minute show? A 40 minute wait. Oh, 40 minute wait? That's fine. That's not too bad. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Dinosaur is such an underrated movie. Disney doesn't give it enough love. I'm kind of surprised that they made a ride after it. Yeah. 45. That's not bad. I've seen more. True.
like this? The Dino Institute. Cool. It feels so blessedly cool in here. Just came out of the dinosaur ride. No idea if the footage I caught was even worth saving, but we'll see. I'm doing that ride again. So after the thrill that was the dinosaur ride, I agreed to go on the Mount Everest ride. Because I said to Karen, if I can stand the dinosaur ride, I can do the Everest ride. Because the Everest ride really isn't that bad from what I've heard. It's just like really fast. You know, and toward the end, like you go backward really fast. So, yeah. we're in Texas. The first 13 years of my life. We're in Texas. Houston. Do you Houston? Okay, yeah. I've never been to Houston, yeah. but I would like to visit at some point. Yeah. See, that, that goes to show you how big the state is. I've, I was born and raised in Texas. I haven't seen all of my state. So that's just, that's just a testament to how big it is. Do you play video games? A little. Have you played uh, Uncharted? No. Okay. Uncharted 2, um, the last half of it is set in a location that's almost exactly like this. It's set in a Tibetan location because in Uncharted 2 they're trying to find the um, paradise city of Shangri-La and uh, there's a segment where you go through a village that looks almost exactly like this. It's really cool. The temples the temples to the yeti Cool. Really cool. Oh, sorry. Namaste. Helen Escapes welcomes you to Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. Namaste. While preparing for your expedition, we ask that you please keep up with the visitors in front of you, filling in all available space to your left and right. For your safety, please stay off the rocks and walls at all times. Duh. Once you board, your larger travel gear may be placed at your feet on the floor of the train and smaller items on the top. Additionally, your guides here at Himalayan Escapes will to inform you that this time we can either confirm or deny the existence of the Yeti. Thank you for choosing Himalayan Escapes for all your travel needs and good luck on your A scientific examination. But you know, in real life, just like uh, Bigfoot, no one's ever been able to like prove or disprove the existence of the Yeti or the Bigfoot. Yeah. Like there's so much inconclusive evidence for both species. You know. That's why they're 
they're classified as cryptids. Cryptids are a specific species of animal where like they exist in legend, but there may be just enough like physical evidence for them to possibly be real, but there's not really enough to prove their existence. So that's that's what cryptids are. The Loch Ness Monster, for example, is considered a cryptid. No, no, for real. Yeah, I'm really, really happy that these weights aren't that bad. Oh, God. Lord, please do not let me regret this. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, we going, we going, we going. <laughs> is my stomping grounds because this is where I work.
Also, the lore that goes, the rest of the lore that goes behind this is, if you stroke it enough, it will spew out water. But according to the lore of Pandora, the water contains seed spores, and that's how it um, spreads itself over the planet. Oh yeah, see, see the water dripping. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's cool. <laughs> so at night, like see the patterns on the uh, cement? At night, these will glow. Mm -hmm. So it is on an alien planet. I don't know if like you picked up on that, but Pandora is an alien planet. So this is made to like look otherworldly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I can show you where I work. Yeah. Let me see, hold on. Let me see if I'm going the right way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so to the canteen this way. So in the movie, mm -hmm. uh, the gravity is, no wait, is the gravity light? I think it is. The gravity is kind of light, so these are floating rocks, okay. and they're just kind of like floating in space yeah. in the in the movie. I believe in the movie they're called the Hallelujah Mountains, and they're structures that the Navi visit because one of the rites of passage, if you want to become a full-fledged member of a Navi tribe, you have to tame a banshee. And in order to do that, you've got to go to the Hallelujah Mountains because that's where they nest. And you've got to like, you've got to like sit on one and tame it, you know. <clears throat> All these structures you see, according to the lore of the site, were built by the Navi for us for us humans who live who live here I wonder that looks like that might be the line for flight of passage oof wait am I going the right way wait no we're not going no we're not going the right way Oh yeah, we're going to Africa. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, there it is. Right over there. <laughs> you want to take a closer look at the rocks? You can actually go under them. What? This is a standby line. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong way. You can go by them, but I think we might have to go a different way. I don't want to wait in line. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we don't have to wait in line. I'm just showing you around. Of course. Oh crap. Satuli's hopping today. I'm glad I'm not working. <laughs> so, that's Pongu Pongu right there. Right next to it is the Wind Traders. That is the gift shop outlet. And this is uh, Satuli Canteen. This is my stomping grounds. Hey. And this is Pongu Pongu. That structure right there is one of the mech suits that the military that came to Pandora used. But after the war between the Navi and the settlers, the guy, 
So according to like the lore that's here in Pandora in relation to the movie, the guy's name is Hawks. He was a former like military member who um, worked one of these mechs. But after the war, um, as a way to make peace with the native peoples, he used that as a monument of what was and Pangu Pangu in Navi means party party. So he built the uh, restaurant as a symbol of what is now. And he sealed the mech so that nobody can get in it and restart it and use it. So that's the, that's the lore, that's the history behind that. On the monorail, going to Magic Kingdom. Never been on a monorail before. They say the Skyliner is fun to get on, but you know, recent controversies make me more than a little nervous. Yeah. It's bad enough that I was on a plane. I don't think I'll ever get on the Skyliner. Because my parents went on Haunted Mansion too, and they said that was a really fun ride. It's really good. Oh,